Good day, my audience. Thank you so much for being on a math diet at MWW Math Empire, where numbers talk. Dear Math Five, Leopard Kroneka says, and I quote, The good Lord have made all the integers. The rest are man's doing. Can I hear you, sir? Can I hear you tell yourself you can? Okay. Having indices as the topic for the day, the word indices is the plural of the term indes, meaning powers or exponents. These three things are all the same. Either you call it index or you call it exponent or power. And the index of a number implies how many times to use that number in a multiplication. Take, for instance, we have 2 raised to the power of 3. And this 3 here is the index. You know, the Latin meaning, index is a, a, a Latin word, meaning indication or points out. So, this 3 is now indicating that it's going to be 3 times that we are going to use this 2 in a multiplication. 2 times 2 times 2. Do you copy when I said you copy, you tell me, copy that. All right. We have laws of indices. These are the commandments of indices. And the failure to obey these laws simply means that you are not going to progress very well in indices. We have the first one there that reads x raised to the power of a multiplied by x raised to the power of b. And this will be x raised to the power of a plus b. Do you know the secret behind this? The, this expression means that both of them need to be on the same base. If we don't have them on the same base, it's not going to work. Do you copy? Because we have x here and we have another x here. If at the, using the known variable now, we have 2 raised to the power of a multiplied by 3 raised to the power of b. This cannot work because they don't have the same base. These ones are the base. Why the, the powers are the index or their exponents? Do you copy? All right. Now, let me use a known variable to prove this. Take, for instance, we have 10 raised to the power of 5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 3. This means 10 raised to the power of 5 plus 3, and which is what? 100 million. Do you copy? Now, let us use this same. We have the second one there, the division law, which reads x raised to the power of a divided by x raised to the power of b, of which this can also come in this way. They both mean the same thing. So, it can also be using the known variable for it. It's going to be 10 raised to the power of 5 divided by 10 raised to the power of 3. And this will now be 10 raised to the power of 5 minus 3, which is equal to 10 raised to the power of 2, which is what? 100,000. Not 100,000, but 100. 10 times 10 is 100. We have the third one as x raised to the power of 0. Anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. Even if you have 200 raised to the power of 0, it's going to be 1. 1 billion raised to the power of 0 is 1. So, do not be raised to the power of 0. Okay, now we have x raised to the power of a and b. Can you see that? This implies x raised to the power of a times b. Take, for instance, we have 2. And we have it raised to the power of 2 times 3. This also means what? 2 raised to the power of 6. Do you copy? We have the fifth one that reads x raised to the power of minus a. This is equal to 1 all over x raised to the power of a. Using a known variable for it, 2 raised to the power of minus 2 is equal to 1 over 2 raised to the power of 2, which is 1 over 4. Do you copy? 
We also have x raised to the power of b over a. This implies x raised, no longer raised now, but will be square root of a, then raised to the power of b. Can you see that now? Square root of x raised to the power of b. Let me use a known variable for it now. We have 4. Look at the equation now. 4 raised to the power of 3 over 2. It's now going to be 4 down raised to the power of 3. Remember, we already have 2 here, but we don't normally write it. Now this will now be, since the square root of 4 will give us 2, we will still have our exponent there which also means what? 2 times 2 times 2 into 3, meaning 8. Do you copy? Now, we have the last one here, x raised to the power of 1 over a. Looking at this, it also implies what we have just done now, which is what? The square root of what? x. But now raised to the power of 1, but you don't normally write it. You remember that any number, any whole number is raised to the power of 1. Okay, so this is the, this lesson is as an introduction to indices. So in my next clip, I will be going to furthermore with indical equations and others. Remember to subscribe and also hit the bell button on your screen so that you may be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you so much.